Hey guys, welcome back, it's Jen. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make pink champagne cake. Or as I like to call it, champagne. So I remember how to spell it. I only say it in my head though. Maybe I should have kept it there. <laughs> I remember when I first tried this cake, it is so delicious. It's basically a vanilla cake, but you replace some of the whole milk with champagne. And it just makes it extra light and fluffy. And the champagne gives it like this pop of flavor that cuts through the sweet. It's a little bit tangy, but overall it's a very delicate, sweet taste. I love it. It's amazing. Here's a list of the tools that I use to make this cake if you want to take a quick screenshot of this. This cake is fun and festive and it's also really elegant. It is a very delicate cake though, so if you're planning on carving your cake into some sort of shape, I would not go with this flavor. So first we're gonna measure out all of our dry ingredients and put them in our mixing bowl. And then measure out all of your wet ingredients and put them in a measuring cup and mix them together. Okay, and with your paddle attachment on your stand mixer, you're gonna go ahead and turn it on the lowest speed and you're gonna slowly add in your room temperature butter so make sure it is soft you're going to just keep mixing this until it looks like coarse sand now the reason i had you put your wet ingredients in a measuring cup is because we're only going to pour in one third of our wet ingredients mix it on lowest speed just until it's moistened it's really important you don't add more than a third of your wet ingredients so i'd rather you do less than a third than more it should be approximately five ounces. Okay, now we're gonna increase our mixing speed to medium, so I do four on the stand mixer. And you're gonna do this for about two minutes until it's thickened and lightened up in color. It's really important that you don't undermix or overmix. And then make sure to scrape the bowl here. And then slowly add in the rest of your liquid ingredients and mix again on medium and then make sure to stop and scrape your bowl again I'm halfway through and your final batter should be about the consistency of yogurt okay now we're gonna add our pink icing color I used Wilton brand and just do a very small amount it goes a long way if you're looking for an elegant look do less pink just so it's a very slight pink Make sure to remember to scrape the bottom of your bowl and fold it around because it tends to not mix into the bottom and we don't want a marbled look. <laughs> so we wanna make sure we get all that pink mixed in. Okay, go ahead and grease your pans. I highly recommend my homemade cake goop, which is equal parts flour, vegetable shortening, and vegetable oil. This is a really delicate cake, so if you want to play it safe, you could put a parchment circle on the bottom. I did not use a parchment circle because I knew I was going to trim my cakes anyways, um, and it just took off a very little bit of the outer layer. Okay, go ahead and fill your pans up halfway full of batter. And then tap your pans a little bit just to make sure the batter's even and to get rid of any air bubbles. And then you can go ahead and put them in the oven. I like to check my cakes after 20 minutes. If they're still jiggly, I add another 10 minutes. Once they stop being very jiggly, I check every five minutes. And then when it gets close, I check every two minutes. And it's done when you put a toothpick in the center and it comes out with just a few crumbs. Okay, these are done. If they're domed at all, you can go ahead and put a towel on top of them and just push down with your oven mitt a little bit until it's flat. And before you flip these out of the pan, let them cool for about 10 minutes. And if you want to play it safe, you can run a spatula along the edge of the cake between the cake and the pan. Then flip the cakes out of the pans and let them cool to room temperature. And if you're not going to use your cakes right away you can go ahead and store them in the freezer I like to do this anyways because it makes them more moist make sure you do not store these in the refrigerator because refrigerators dry out cakes 
at least until they have a crumb coat. After they have a crumb coat, you can go ahead and put them in the refrigerator. I also find it a lot easier to frost my cakes when they're frozen. Just make sure you put them in a Ziploc freezer bag. It has to be a freezer bag. And then I also wrap them in plastic wrap as well. So that is it you guys, you now know how to make pink champagne cake. If you'd like to learn more recipes, how to decorate your cakes and sweets, and all other types of baking stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and can't wait to see you next time.